hi guys uh, welcome to the channel we're gonna do something new moving forward you're gonna get the regular videos which are edited and everything but this is more of a raw discussion slash reflection about the gospel reading one of the things i want to do this year is connect more with god feel like i've lost my way and one way to do it is to reflect on his word uh, on a daily basis i have actually subscribed to hallow as you can see uh i think you might have seen mark Wahlberg uh talk about it or advertised it on social media so i basically signed up there is a free trial uh, it was 90 days for me i think it's still 90 days uh, don't hold me on that but i'll leave a link in the description down below it's uh not an affiliate link uh, you can just google hello but to make life easier i'm just gonna put it up there there are different meditation plans there are different gospel plans if you want to start reading the bible again uh, they have some bible help also but uh, one of the things that i'm doing is basically do uh, the gospel reflections um, so today's gospel is luke chapter 16 verses 19 to 31 and basically just to summarize it's the story of lazarus uh, lazarus was a poor guy who used to uh, live uh, outside a rich man's house and basically once he died he goes to heaven and uh, heaven uh, we're going to talk about that and the rich man when he dies he goes to hell and there in hell the rich man uh, begs abraham that he send lazarus uh, back to earth to warn his family to live a more wholesome spiritual life uh, but abraham says it's too late uh, that if they don't listen to moses and the other prophets who are already there on earth then a dead man going back will make no difference that being said some of the things that really uh, struck me and basically uh surprised me in a way again this was from jeff and jonathan and when he was explaining it there were some things that stood out to me and one of the first things was uh, the description of dogs um, as you can see it's written over there that uh, dogs even used to come and lick his sores uh, so I always thought that the specific mention or the intentional mention of animals had a purpose in the Bible if you look at the pigs um, and the evil spirits wanting to go um, into the bodies of the pigs uh, that was one then also um, the mule or the donkey that took Jesus uh, on Palm Sunday that was the other one so I started googling the mention of dogs uh, in the Bible and add um, as you can see in Revelation um, it says outside of the dogs those who practice magic arts uh, so more or more of a derogatory way of describing probably uh, people who are doing wrong uh, then in Matthew it says do not give dogs what is sacred and I'm thinking in this verse it's dogs as in the animal dogs so dogs here are probably unclean uh, just the way it says do not throw your pearls to pigs uh, if you do they may trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces uh, sounds a little bit more savage uh, Philippians watch out for those dogs those evildoers again uh, probably people who are doing wrong in Luke like uh, as we just uh, read and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table even the dogs came and licked his sores um, so when um, Jeff was talking about this in the hallow app um, he mentioned that dogs could mean two things or the reference of dogs could mean two things one it being like a gentle uh, reference to dogs um, in a way to feel sorry about Lazarus that his sores were so bad that animals would come lick them and and that a fellow human being would pay no attention even though he was outside the gates or at the door of this rich man who decided to live his life uh, vicariously uh, versus paying attention to a fellow human being who's obviously struggling or he also mentioned something really interesting he said that the dogs could actually mean or reference to gentiles 
who were considered like the lowest class people which i don't think makes sense uh, from my perspective uh, I probably go with the first explanation so that was interesting so if you guys have a different take on the whole reference of dogs please let me know or maybe it's just me who's you know unnecessarily uh, deep diving into something overthinking myself uh, the other thing that I found really interesting was uh, the reference of the bosom of Abraham and I always thought that it meant heaven and hell Again, in the explanation that uh, Jeff said that basically Jesus was the one who opened the gates of heaven. So when someone references or as in this particular passage, the bosom of Abraham is not actually heaven, but a comfortable version of hell uh, and the other hell that the rich man who is actually unnamed in the entire verse is the actual hell that we think of where there's torment and suffering uh, and all sorts of like uh, bad things so it was interesting that there is there was a, a purgatory uh, kind of way of hell uh, like a waiting room uh, to go into heaven uh, for salvation so I always thought that there was a, a clear heaven and hell so to know that there was another version of hell a waiting room so to speak for jesus to open the gates of heaven was was i guess a really surprise uh for me so but again uh looking at the gospel today and hearing about it i think one lesson is like you want to live your life uh the way god wants you to or righteously every day as much as we want to know or we want to have control of when we die uh and we want to know what uh, is going to be our expiration date um, in most cases it's not uh, we can't pinpoint it down uh, death is something that we have no control over um, so every day you want to live prepared um, and in the way of the Lord uh, because you never know when your time is gonna come and you don't want to be like the rich man uh, it's when it's too late uh, and you're basically begging uh, God for a second chance or to send someone uh, to warn your loved ones or family members so I think that would be the biggest takeaway for me uh, from today's gospel is live each and every day um, in the way of the Lord uh, the best you can and uh, also like the two surprising things so hopefully this was helpful uh, I will see you guys again tomorrow with tomorrow's gospel reading and the reflection until then uh, stay safe stay healthy stay blessed let me know in the comment sections down below what do you guys think about today's reading and what do you guys uh, take away from the story of Lazarus and the rich man take care guys bye